We live in a world where Netflix and chill has been claimed as a hobby by most people. We live in a world where not knowing a reference to a Squid Game meme might get us some stares. Well, having said that, I would like to greet a very good afternoon to all the esteemed guests present here and to my um, worthy opponents. I'm Shreshtha Datta and today I will be speaking on the topic, binge watching on OTT is the new IT trend for millennials. Now, time, quarantine and a few Google searches has proved that this term called binge watching has become a buzzword among the thriving millennials nowadays. So much so that the, pre that the previous IT trend, which uh, required people to get IT jobs by the millennials, has even been replaced by this. With Netflix topping the list of the most viewed OTT subscriptions, followed by Amazon Prime and YouTube, it is pretty clear that the days of you calling up your cable provider and asking, why don't I get Sony 6 on my television, are long gone. It has been found out that 49% of India's youth spends almost two to three hours binge watching their favorite content online, which if you ask me, is pretty huge. By the way, talking about binge watching, do you really want to tell me that you wanted to wait every new week to watch one new episode of Mirzapur and did not want to binge watch? I mean, come on. Well, moving on. The Data Sciences Division of Dentsu Ages Network, DAN India, has uh, come up with a report which suggests that during the lockdown, binge watching has even more increased among the millennials and the Gen Z. Now, since the 2013, it has been found out that binge watching has increased from 61% to 75% by the Deloitte figures. It has also been found out that uh, among the millennials, people are watching science fiction more than thriller. And I know this will get me a few stares, but honestly, I would binge watch Stranger Things over Money Heist any day. Now, why do you think OTT platforms are being so well watched by the millennials? One of the main reasons is that it's very flexible, you know. Like, I can be at a place where I cannot watch television and I want to watch Stranger Things. What will I do then? Of course, go to the OD platforms and binge watch a season. Now, these are one of the main reasons because it's flexible. Television, it's not that flexible, you know. Second of all, millennials don't really have that much money to, you know, buy a whole subscription for a whole year of the television. However, for the OTT platforms, we can buy at least one month or a week or so when we can watch our favorite shows and, you know, kill some time. Well, one of the next reasons is that it produces dopamine in our brain. What dopamine is, you ask? Well, it's the happy hormone for the humans. And let's be honest, the quarantine has been very hard. We need to get all the dopamine that we can use. Next up is that it creates a shared cultural space. It gives us beneficial social connections. For example, I have been in college for about one and a half years now, and I have barely met my so-called new friends only like two to three times. And you know why our conversation started? Because we both used to watch Friends. And how did that escalate? We both watched Friends on these OTT subscriptions. Actually, we binged watched them. So binge watching is actually creating new beneficial social connections. However, binge watching also has a few disadvantages like every other point. Now, one of the main disadvantages is that has been uh, come up by the university in Texas. So they found out that binge watchers could actually be more depressed or lonely or have less self-control because we're continuously, you know, watching something that we like. We are less capable of controlling ourselves. The next point, I would say most of my fellow binge watchers would agree with me. When I end a particular show, which I really like to watch, for example, Stranger Things, I know I'm talking about it a lot because I really, really like it. So the fact is, when I ended watching Stranger Things for at least like two to three days, I was binge watching it. Then when I ended, I was suffering from a mourning period. I was literally mourning. Like I was so sad. I had a void in my life. Because for the past few days, I was continuously binge watching Stranger Things. I was not doing anything productive. I at least, you know, watched, I would say, I'm being honest, five to six hours of uh, Stranger Things every single day. From the next day, I was in a mourning period. I was sad. I didn't know what to do. I was uh, finding for my next oasis in the midst of a desert. Well, moving on. 
uh, these are one of the uh, health related issues now i wouldn't say that binge watching uh, causes death because i'm not google but binge watching does cause a few uh, you know health issues in the long run for example when we are binge watching we are sitting and we are eating food right that's pretty that's pretty normal so when we do that it can actually reduce or slow your metabolism and it can cause heart issues because we are sitting for a long time right and it can also cause blood clots so these are a few reasons and one of the more important reasons is that people are getting very much distant now every single day when i'm watching something my dad comes up and tells me you will only watch these things you will not make any friends talk with us but they don't understand over there eli is fighting demons in the you know uh stranger things you don't get that but the fact is there are many disadvantages and advantages in watching ott platforms on a binge watching period so to conclude my speech i would like to say that uh, binge watching has both its advantages and disadvantages and as responsible citizens of india and responsible adults as we like to call, call ourselves it is totally upon us whether we want to you know use binge watching as a boon or a bane only for entertainment or use it very productively as well thank you that was my speech